the eighth grade geometry class has been covering the concepts of scale, proportion, and three-dimensional shapes. In a cross-curricular opportunity, students visited the makerspace to create giant merge cubes. They were broken into three groups and given a merge cube to investigate and measure. They decided what size scale they wanted to use and how large to make their cube. The groups were given cardboard, exacto knives, and rulers, but they had to decide how they wanted to make their net figures and how to accurately construct a perfect cube. All three groups chose a different method, but still ended up with a six-sided figure. Once their cubes were constructed, the eighth graders began working on enlarging the images of the merge cube faces on their computers. The images needed to match the enlarged dimensions and then be divided into sections in order to allow for them to be printed. The groups used spray adhesive to apply the images to the correct faces of their giant cubes, and then they tested out each side with the iPad to make sure the augmented reality features were working. So what our project is, is that regular merge cubes, they're kind of small, so what we're doing is we're making bigger versions of them, so preschoolers and kindergartners can use them, and they'll be easier, and they'll be a bigger version of what you'd see from a smaller merge cube. At the end of the project, we ended up with an 11 inch, a 12 inch, and a 14 inch merge cube that can now be used with our youngest students on campus. These cubes will be able to sit on a table and multiple students can walk around a single cube while exploring their AR experiences on an iPad. Our pre-K and kindergarten students will not need to worry about manipulating several things at one time thanks to our eighth grade students and their creative math skills. One of the things I love about our learning community is the way grade levels interact with each other. While the buddy program formally matches younger students with older buddies, there are so many other ways students interact with one another. This project was great because the eighth graders were building the cubes specifically for pre-K, kindergarten, and the other lower school students. There were times when they had to think about and empathize with how their little friends would use the cube and therefore had to think about how that would impact some of the design elements. I think that is one of the neat things about a pre-K to 8 community.